Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Today I want to show you a simple one, how to solar ignite tulip poplar bark with reading glasses. Let's get our leaves straight off the ground. And I love the look of texture, of age, of that moss on there. I'm simply going to tear out that inner bark, process it up in my hands, and if I can use like this darker, the darker parts of this fiber, that's what we'll solar ignite. I'm not expecting it to take over two minutes. Now I picked this bark up yesterday off the ground by our huge tulip poplar tree out in the front yard. It's about three feet in diameter. And so it's had a day to sort of dry a little bit in the garage. You have a right when somebody shows you fire making techniques to know how dry that material is. Some people would dry it out on you and make you think they just picked it up off the ground. There's a huge difference in ignitability when there's when it's that dry. That should be enough. If I can't make it go to flames, I'll use the ember that I created to ignite these leaves. And then I'll put this unprocessed bark on top of the flames because this outer bark is gonna really burn great. I feel just the least little bit of moisture in it. Shouldn't make that big of a deal. Like I say, I don't have to make this go to flames. I can use the amber that I build up inside of it. But I am anticipating this going to flames. That should be enough fines. And you don't want it too tight, but you can't have it too loose. How about that? Always wear your shades when doing solar experiments. You do not want to stare at a very bright focal point for an extended period of time. When you look away from that focal point, after like a couple minutes or more, when you look away, you'll see a dark spot right where you were staring at that focal point. Do wear good shades that block out all the UV. I hope you can see that. And you can make sure you're in the direct sunlight by looking at your shadow. A few wisps of smoke. I hate it when I can't show it to you in one try, but let me pack this tighter so that the heat can distribute it and the heat can be driven deeper and deeper. So you have to have it tight enough for that to happen. So let's try that. Smoke. I 
be patient and give it a minute or two before you try to blow on it. People ask me, why can't I get a better shot of building the amber? These angles are hard enough to get, to get on video as it is. And then if I did get the shot where you were looking right down on this ember, there'd be too much glare for you to see what's going on. So I do the best I can do. The hardest part of these techniques is getting it on video. It's not the techniques themselves. So I'm trying to get a depth of ember and everything is going along just fine. I think we're ready. Let's blow on it and see if we can make it a self-sustaining ember and maybe even make this bark go to flames. <laughs> I should say we made it go to flames. And now the end of the video, I'll just, when this gets established a little bit, I'll put the bark on top of it, break a few branches, put them on top of it. So do me a favor now, before you leave, please subscribe to my channel. Please like, please share. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. This is one of those times when I don't need these smalls. But I will use them in the future. on the next one.